Well, I got to be part of it. I was just called up uh, on the phone by Matt Shackman and Jack Schaefer. Matt Shack Shackman was the director of all episodes, and Jack Schaefer was the writer, showrunner, sort of producer, uh, mastermind uh, of all these episodes. Uh, and they just called me up. Uh, it was just offered to me. Um, and they pitched it to me with some difficulty. It was difficult to explain the idea. And the way they explained it, and obviously this is a major spoiler for those who haven't, haven't seen it, um, but the way they explained it was that Wanda Maximoff grew up in this country behind the Iron Curtain, this fictional country. And when she was young, she dreamt of the West, but her only real exposure to the West was through these pirated VHS tapes that she and her friend... Now, some of this didn't occur in this... You didn't get to find out about all of this in the series. This is the way it was explained to me. So she and her friends behind the Iron Curtain would pass around these... Uh, these superannuated old uh, tapes of American television shows. And that was kind of what they got to know in their formative years about the West. So, as it was explained to me, when Vision dies and her dreams are shattered uh, in the film, that, oh, one thing I should explain to those who, well, I think everybody now understands this, but this was a rather bold idea on Kevin Feige's uh, part. Um, one of the changes that he made was he decided to make the world of the television shows and the world of the feature films continuous. That is the same actors, the same storylines. That I don't think was, you know, there were Marvel products, but they were discrete, separate, um, separate worlds. So he had this idea that they could be woven all together. Um, so in the last movie, we find out that uh, WandaVision's plans to lead a kind of normal life outside the superhero world are dashed. Um, and Wanda has to kind of deal with that. So the question was that I asked initially was, well, is this going on in Wanda's mind? This whole thing, is this her fantasy of, you know, because she can't stand having lost vision? And the answer was, well, her superpower is that she has the, her mind has the capacity to actually create realities. Hmm. But those realities come in conflict with the lives of the people who are, who are affected by the realities. For example, me, my character, as it was explained to me, is this guy that is Vision's boss at this job that he mysteriously has. And yet, um, there comes a time early on in the first episode that I, the first and uh, and now we know only episode that I appear in, um, where uh, a crack in this world is very evident. So it's not a figment of our imagination. It's real. But problems develop in the application of her fantasies towards this actual real town that really exists. So as an actor, you're always kind of trying to figure out, well, what is real for me? Is it, Do I believe that this is the real world? Or... Am I doing this sort of against my will? It seems as though I'm a willing participant in it. And what they said was, you are willing, a willing participant, and she has some degree of control over you, but not complete control. And there are times when your own life and your own needs um, come in conflict with what she has imagined or what she, what she has projected. Um, and that obviously becomes very evident also with uh, um, Catherine Hahn's character also, the Agatha character. Uh, anyway, so it was presented to me this way, and I was originally told I was going to be in a certain number of episodes, and a guarantee was made of that a certain amount of money, which is how you do it when you're an actor. Um, but that actually changed because they were still writing the episodes when I got to Atlanta to do it. So I wound up doing fewer episodes than I was originally, although I got paid for all of them. Uh, I thought I was going to have, there were some very great scenes that I had that unfortunately I never got to do. Um, one where I was very concerned about my daughter's welfare who lives in another town. Uh, but that was all, uh, I think it, it thought, it, I think they thought it became too much of a side plot and they didn't want to, they didn't want to do it anyway. Uh, my, so the, the answer to this long winded answer is it was just presented <laughs> to me uh, as an opportunity uh, uh, to be a part of the, this uh, unbelievable, huge behemoth, this MCU thing. 
uh, and was I interested? And I will say, from as, as an experience, it was a very interesting experience. Just prior to doing this, I had been in New York. I live in California, but I had been in New York doing a, a micro-budget little indie movie, little indie comedy, uh, where, uh, you know, on this craft service table, there was like a thing of Triscuits and a half a thing of peanut butter, and that was it. <laughs> and to suddenly go from that to the world of Marvel, which is shot uh, at Pinewood, which is a big, huge complex in, in near Atlanta, where everybody's suits are handmade in Italy and there's crab and the sets are bigger than your house. And uh, it's, you know, the, the, the scope, the size at which everybody works was very, uh, was <laughs> made a fascinating contrast to what I had just done prior to that. Um, but it was just uh, just given to me. Uh, uh, there was no audition. It was just uh, I was just offered it and thought it would be a great, interesting thing to do. Wow, that's amazing! Now, now you guys shot yours in front of a live studio audience. Is that correct? That is correct. We rehearsed it um, without the audience, uh, and it was done as as live shows were actually done, or taped, or filmed. I guess prior to tape, film shows were done, mm -hmm. um, done in sequence with some stopping um but it was nervous making to actually do it in front of a live audience it was for me anyway well, although it. i've been a theater actor for many years um it's kind of different because um usually when you're rehearsing something you have some idea of how the audience is going to respond but with this it was such a kind of a curveball such a strange thing and we know that the marvel faithful except expect certain kinds of storylines, certain kinds of effects, certain size of, of uh, operations. So to kind of throw this curveball, we really didn't know, especially to the Marvel faithful, how, what they were going to make of it. Was, it. was it shot before the COVID or? or uh... Yes, it was all shot. It was, fortunately for me, it was all shot. My stuff was all shot in uh, September and October of uh, a year ago, last September and October. However, they continued shooting and they stopped in March. And then I was supposed to be in the last episode, the very last episode, but unfortunately COVID was going on then. And because I am at significant risk for COVID complications, I had to say, I'm sorry, I can't come back. There was a scene with me and my wife, supposed to be in the last episode, but uh, it got scrapped because it was too dangerous for me to go. Oh, oh, oh.